Rita Hayworth, the Hollywood film star who, they said, had just about everything. Sparkling, ravishing, that was one verdict. That special star lustre, whatever other girls had, Rita had more of. That's how a standard history on Hollywood remembers her at her peak. But the end of Rita Hayworth's career was very different, as Freddie Francis, director on her final film, remembers. Unfortunately, the whole thing didn't work out. We started off with a, uh, a shot where she had to come down a spiral staircase and say just a couple of very simple lines. At the end of the day, when we, we tried all day to do this sequence, she just hadn't been able to do anything, and the whole thing was rather tragic, and we just had to give up. Many people assumed that this was just one more case of a fading actress destroying herself by drink. Well, now we know different. Rita Hayworth has a disease that eats away the brain, a fatal disease. And up to one in 12 old people in Britain will get it too. They'll die particularly sad and confused deaths. Victims of a major killer, a disease so widespread that you'd think the medical profession would make it top priority. Well, you'd be wrong. The medical schools give it short shrift. They put peanuts into research on it, and even less into telling us, the public, what's happening to the old people who have it. This week, in a report from the Royal College of Physicians, it's clear that large sections of the medical profession have turned a blind eye to the story we tell tonight, the story of what they call the silent epidemic. Well, I understand that it'll be gradual, that he'll get worse. And eventually we'll have to go into a mental home and we'll die. There's no cure. That's, that's the latest. When it was diagnosed as Alzheimer's disease, how did you feel? Oh, I felt terrible, but I didn't know what Alzheimer's disease was. I'd never heard of the word. He said that she would get gradually more confused, um, gradually more uncertain. She might get aggressive. And he didn't pull any punches. He said in the end they just become a vegetable and then they die usually from pneumonia. Alan Powell's wife Joyce and Tom Hamilton have dementia, a deterioration of the brain usually put down to ageing. But in up to 80% of cases, the damage is actually being done by a disease few people have even heard of, Alzheimer's disease. It will never hit most of us, but the longer we live, the more likely we are to get it. One in 12 of our over 60s will succumb to it. These facts have been known to the medical establishment for 10 years, but largely ignored. There's been little research and there's still no treatment. Medical priorities and medical interest.